Donald Entry Bosiakun S. Um, this is who he is. Yes. yes. <laughs> we thank God so much. And um, I think somebody had posted that the audio was not all that well. Okay. But it may, may people, if you are watching us, I like you very much. Very, I'm very excited for the feedback that we get getting from you. That's right. Um, I'll give him another opportunity to okay. introduce himself. Okay. Uh, who is Minister Andrew Bosiakun? Um, Body of Christ, when we say Minister, um, Minister Donald Entry is the fifth born of six siblings, um, four boys, um, two girls. Um, I'm from Offenso, Adriamwa, in the Kwabele district. Um, I was born to the late Dixon and Kibosiaku, controller of post PNT Ghana. Uh, my mother is Janet Apia. Um, I'm a worshiper. I love to praise God. Um, I have a group of people and about 12 pastors all over the U.S., Christ Family Prayer Line, Christ Family Radio, and I'm the leader. Um, to me, worship, to worship is to leave everything about my life. My brother was earlier testifying about who I was, I am. I've been with him in the ministry for quite a long time. And so, Minister Donald Entry is a, a man of God that loves God, that loves to worship, that loves to pray. Um, praise, I preach, I do a lot of stuff in, in, the, in the house of the Lord. Amen, amen, amen. We thank God so much. Then, you, there are such, some stuff that you said. You said, first, you are someone that loves God. Yes. And I know we can see it mm. in your ministrations mm. when you start to minister, when you start to sing uh, praise or even lead worship. Mm. Um, there are a lot of people out there mm -hmm. that have even in, in your ministry That's right. um, that are out there, most of them we call, they, they, they keep, keep the name gospel artists. Mm. What is the difference between a gospel artist and actual um, gospel minister? <laughs> this is a, very, it's a very challenging question and I believe I know where you are coming from because we are living in a dispensation, a time of life where people call themselves ministers but they are not. Right. Uh, to me, this is how I see. We have two groups of people people that flows on the puppet mm -hmm. through the move the Holy Spirit, right. Holy Ghostic move, mm -hmm. and then we have another group that moves according to Sholy Ghost. <laughs> so yeah, they come to the puppet and they, they play show. Wow. You see? Wow. And you will be surprised that we are living in a, a time of life mm -hmm. where some ministers, some people that call themselves ministers are not really ministers. Mm -hmm. they, they've gone to the fetish priest, mm -hmm. they've gone to certain places, mm -hmm. um, they have some marks on their thumbs mm. and their palms mm. and, and they call themselves ministers. Mm. You see, people have gifts. Right. Most people have gifts. Even though they are not Christians, right. they have backings, mm -hmm. promoters, people that support them. Right. So when you invite such an individual to the church, mm -hmm. he, he doesn't even know God. Right. He's singing because they have come to realize that the music ministry is, is going a long way to put money in people's pockets. Right. So they have all been drawn mm -hmm to do it, but inwardly, mm. they are not Christians. Wow. A minister was, to, you know, I went to Ghana in um, 2016, right. and I had so much encounter with different ministers, and mm. I was told that some of these people were talking about the Sholy Ghost uh, ministers right. that comes to the pulpit to show. Right. When they sing and they give their microphone to you, mm -hmm. you do. Oh my. They have been anointed by the devil, mm. and when the minister, nobody comes after them. them. When they hand over their microphone to you, mm. you can never perform. Mm. And this is what is going on, mm. you see. But I don't blame them, right. because we are living in a time where the shepherd is even consulting mm. Mm. the leaders, mm. the pastors, some of the pastors. Mm. We thank God that we are in a ministry where right. uh, we have a, a, man, a, a man of God that believes in the power of God. Right. But there are so many, you go to the YouTube, mm -hmm. to the internet, and you right. see a lot of people right. that have connections with, with fetish priests and right. other things. Right. People that go under the ocean mm. for powers. Mm. So it doesn't surprise me when I see a musician also doing the same thing. Because when the head is rough, right. I mean Isaiah 1 verse 5, mm -hmm. when the head is rough, the body will also be rough. So that is exactly what is going on. Right. To me, they are going after the money. Mm. They are not to repent anybody. Mm. They are not to bring so win souls to Christ. Mm. It's about themselves, what they will get. Okay. Mm. But you see, 
in this world, if you gain the whole world right. and you lose your soul, right. what does it profit you? Right. So my advice to the to the to the musicians is that if, if if you are doing the work of God and you don't have any backing, any spiritual backing, any you, if you've not consulted any fetish place or anything, and things are not going well, please just go ahead. Go ahead. And yes, we, we're not competing with anybody. Wow, wow. Yes, wow. I like I like the way you put it. People uh, in the gospel music industry either for their personal gain mm. or because of the money that they can get. That's right. And people have consulted, they have found alternate source of power. That's right. So that they can they can different from the one of God. Different from one of God. Mm. Mm. I, I, I like I like the way you say it. But the Jesus says something, say by their fruits. By their fruits. You shall you shall know we them. We shall know them. You shall know them. It is true. And, and I like the fruit that I see in you, the fruit of Thank you. that somebody that is always in line with, with God, desire that mm. God's will mm. should be done other than our mm. personal uh, personal will. Mm. I know you are coming out with an album. This, uh, sorry, a, a single. A single. A single. A single. It's long anticipated. <laughs> I anytime, you know, anytime I meet you, I ask you, when is, when is this thing dropping? When is this thing coming? When is this thing <laughs> So tell our viewers, yes. you know, our, our our friends out there. Um, it's I, long as I do. I know the title is my lifestyle. my lifestyle. My lifestyle. Why did you choose the title of my lifestyle? Um, man of God, I got this by revelation. Mm -hmm. The word life. Many people are frustrated and disillusioned in life, right? Uh, because they have not been able to fulfill their divine mandate. Mm -hmm. um, some Christians, they don't want to go to church anymore. Mm. They don't want to go forward anymore. Mm. Some people want to stop. They don't. They want to leave back because life has been so tough for them. Mm. And this is the revelation I had. Mm. The word life, mm -hmm. the L-I-F-E, mm -hmm. L-I-F-E, mm -hmm. you live in, you fulfill expectation. Wow. Mm. See, it's arrival and departure. Mm -hmm. Once you come into the light in this world, you come on this earth, mm -hmm. and you live in the earth. Mm -hmm. It is not only living in the earth, but you are supposed to fulfill your divine mandate. mandate. So it's L I F E. Live in, mm -hmm. fulfill expectations. expectations. And the reason why many people are frustrated is that mm. they've tried their humanly possible, mm. but they have not been able to make waves. Mm. They have not been able to hit target. Mm. And sometimes the only way of life open to some people is to quit. Because mm. I have tried my best. best yeah. I've done everything that I can. So me tie and title the song My Lifestyle mm -hmm. is was because of some of the things other people go through. Go through. Mm. Some of the things other people go through. Mm. The song is meant to encourage, encourage somebody. And somebody. The, song, the song is meant to lift somebody up. Mm -hmm. The song is meant to prophetically tell somebody that whatever didn't kill you mm -hmm. will make you better. The song is meant to tell somebody that mm -hmm. it is not over mm -hmm. until God says it is over. Mm -hmm. The song is meant to tell somebody that there is hope for the future. Amen. So I basically composed this song mm -hmm. because I had the revelation. Man of God, you know we all go through moments right. of life. Right. A time of your life when you go through the turbulence of life. Mm -hmm. A time of your life when you think everything is falling apart. Mm -hmm. A time of your life when you feel like your every hour is crowded mm -hmm. by thickness of cloud. Mm -hmm. We all go through. Yes. And in my deepest moment, right. when I thought I was going through the turbulence of life, mm -hmm. in my deepest moment, mm -hmm. when I told everybody, mm -hmm. I felt like I was a stepchild wow. everywhere I go. Mm -hmm. And I consulted the Lord, I prayed, and God said, remember, mm. if nobody likes you, right. if nobody appreciates you, I love you. Mm. So he gave me two words. Mm. He said, I've given you a life of hope mm. and a hope for life. Mm. A life of hope, of hope and, hope for, and a hope for life. My so God. in my own language, I said, how can this? My heart was humbled. Mm. After I received these two words, mm. I said, oh, thank God, mm. because the word has that information to calm me down. Mm. So I decided to mm. compose a song mm. and then put these words into it's song so that I can be a blessing That's to somebody wonderful. else. A lot of people are frustrated. Man. They want to give up. They've done everything mm. that they can in life. But 
But if you are watching me, mm. maybe you are a young pastor mm. and you are asking yourself, when mm. prophets have prophesied over you, mm. pastors have spoken over you, mm. ministers of God have spoken over you, mm. and it looks as if it is long overdue mm. and everything is falling apart mm. and, and, and your, your, your every hour is cloud with the thickness of cloud, I am here to tell you mm. that at the thickness of the cloud, mm. the rain begins. The rain begins. When the cloud ends, mm. is a starting point mm. of the rain. Amen. God is about to do something Amen. in your life. So my lifestyle is not basically talking about my lifestyle, but it's your lifestyle, his lifestyle. Everybody that is living, listening, that 2018, your lifestyle is not going to be the same. Amen. If you are sleeping, you will wake up. Amen. If you have work, you start walking. Amen. If you are walking, you will run. If you are running, you will start flying. Amen. God is about to do something so Amen. miraculous Amen. in the lives of people. Amen. 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 Uh, beloved, if you are still watching Amen. me, you're watching us with uh, Eternal Word with your brother Ernesto Pony. I have here Minister uh, uh, Donald Entry Boisiapon. I'd like you to share this. Yes. Invite somebody to join us. The power of God is here Mark so much. And at the end of this um, service, at the end of this meeting, mm. I will give him the opportunity to pray for people mm. and to lead some people to Christ. Mm. I'd like you to share this with someone. Share it, please. Post it on the page that you are allowed to post. Do me a favor. Invite share it. People. Tweet somebody, put mm. it on WhatsApp, Tell invite somebody. somebody to join us yes. today. We have Minister Entribuesia. Yes, he was telling about us about the title of his song, mm. My Lifestyle. You were mm. telling me that life. Mm. of hope and, and hope, hope for life. For life. For you life. see, it got to a time mm. I didn't have any life. Mm -hmm. I was just walking around. I know what God has used me to do before. Mm. Mm. I know what God has invested in me. Mm. I know what God has done through me. Mm. But it got to a time of my life and I feel like uh, uh, every hour was cloud mm -hmm. with the thickness of uh, 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 darkness. Right. You see, and God spoke to me mm. that I've given you a life, a life of hope mm. and a hope for life. Mm. So what, 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 what can I do when I get a word like this? Mm. I said, no, I need to reach out to somebody. I need to speak to somebody because the way the word comes me down, I know it's going to go a long way, way to, to bless calm of somebody. To. We are made also ambassadors of hope. And, mm. and I thank God that God has opened that door in your ministry mm. that we can also Mm. The hope that we have received can also uh, be extended and also be extended mm. to other people's lives. Mm. You chose the date December 31st, 2017. <laughs> you could have done this in before Christmas, you could have done this Minister Bernard will tell you. Birthday. <laughs> you could have done this at any time. Why December 31st, 2017? Uh, one thing I've come to realize is in life, mm -hmm. man of God. Time is very, very, very important. important right? Time is very, very, mm. you know, this is how I call it. Mm. The immediate moment encountered. Mm. T-I-M-E. Mm -hmm. The immediate mm. moment mm. encountered. Mm. It is very, very, very crucial. Right. If God has not called you to move, mm. if God has not tell you to move and you move, mm. you're going to get stuck. Right. right. So I decided to let uh, um, to to release a song on that date because it is a borderline where 2018 takes over mm -hmm. from 2017. 17. We are entering into a brand new year. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So one may ask me, is this one of your songs? No, this is not one of my songs. I have a lot of songs. Mm -hmm. This was a song that recently came and uh, by the help of Minister Bernard Afo, mm -hmm. we put it together and I said, this song is meant for 2018. Mm -hmm. When 2018 passes, mm -hmm. this song will be inspired wow. because God is prophetically going to do mm -hmm. something in the lives of his people. Mm -hmm. And that is why I chose that date. And secondly, the beauty of every plan Life is all about planning. Right. Somebody may look at you and say, oh, you've taken too long. Mm -hmm. It's not about who started yeah, about first, who started and it's not, about, it's not about who is behind. Mm -hmm. He's able to pick people from behind and put them in the front. Yes. He is God. He's able to do everything. Mm -hmm. Life is all about planning. Mm -hmm. And the beauty of every plan is how it is executed. Mm -hmm. How a pe the person, mm -hmm. me or you, execute the plan. Mm -hmm. And how a plan is well executed, it is how, it's how the plan meets its divine timing. Mm. Mm. Life is all about planning. You remember, Esther went into the king's house right. 
on a wrong day according to human calendar. Mm-hmm. Right. That was not the right time for Esther to go mm-hmm. because she could have been killed. Right. But it was divine timing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. She went and she was able to get her breakthrough mm-hmm. from the humanistic point of view. Mm-hmm. It was very, very dangerous because right. it was in the law that people were not mm-hmm. supposed to go there on time. Mm-hmm. But if you hear the voice of God, mm-hmm. you need to act. Amen. One thing the body of Christ we are lacking is that we keep planning. Like I said, mm-hmm. life is planned, plan, plan, plan. Mm-hmm. People keep planning, but they don't act. Mm-hmm. But if you are planning, I am here to tell you that it is time to execute the aspirations of your dreams. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. If you don't execute it, it is one thing planning, mm-hmm. another thing acting. acting. If you plan and you don't act, it spells laziness. Right. That is the definition of laziness. Mm-hmm. Keep planning. I want to do this. I want to do this. Mm-hmm. I want to do this. Mm-hmm. And you don't do it. It's the definition of laziness. Right. And people that act without planning mm-hmm. spells mediocrity. Mm. Man of God, sometimes people will act without even planning. Mm. But if you are planning, please act. act. If you are acting, please plan. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 I am so much excited here in my spirit. I'm so much excited about yes. today. And as I said, do not let this day go by without sharing what we are experiencing yes, here do. in the studio with someone. Yes. I'd like you to invite somebody. I'd like you to share it on your Facebook page. Yes. I'd like you to invite somebody to be a part of what God is doing. That's here. right. We have Minister Andrew Buesia mm. here at the studio with us. He's been a blessing. He's talking about the release of his new single album, mm. a single, single coming out in December 31st. Mm. I believe that that day is a divine day. Hallelujah. It's a day of a crossover. Hallelujah. It's a day that somebody's de- uh, uh, destiny, destiny is will, about be, to change. Will, be, will be turned around. It's about to change. In the positive direction. In the positive direction. Because the change can be in the negative change direction. Change can be negative. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I believe there is a positive change coming, coming your way. Life. And you don't want to walk into 2018 mm. without hearing this album. Uh, With this the same single. rejections. Without hearing this single. Without mm. hearing the word that God has put Mark in this much. single uh, song for you. Mm. Hallelujah. Mm. Hallelujah. Mm. Man of God, are you selling this single? Are you gonna what what is your goal? I know it costs money. Ah studio. A lot of money, and, bro. And the people putting this stuff together. The video, the, the time. Video, and it's coming out the with studio. a music video too, right? Yes. You have a music video. Two package in one. Wow. So and this is the first release. Mm-hmm. I've never released any song before. Wow. I've backed people up mm-hmm. in the studios. Mm-hmm. But as far as I am concerned, this is my first, your release. first release. But God spoke to me. Mm. Give it to them for free. Wow. Except anybody listening to me that God has touched their heart to help me. Mm-hmm. To help the ministry, like mm-hmm. I said. Mm-hmm. Me, writing the song, is just like mm-hmm. calling my own name. Right. So easy. Mm-hmm. Immediately you put your hands on the organ. Mm-hmm. The song will be coming. Correct. So I have a lot of songs. Mm. This song was recently uh, uh, invented, mm. or, 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 or we created it just recently. Mm. So all that I'm saying is, if somebody wants to help the ministry, I'm not going to stop the person. Right. But I am not bringing it to you on the thirty first with an eyes of expectancy that you give something to me. This is my Christmas gift to you. To you. But God. there are still people out there that mm. God wants them to help. Mm-hmm. This ministry, so that the other albums can come out. come out. I will not stop those people. Mm. 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 Bro, the reason why I did this mm. is that, to me, what makes life worth living mm-hmm. is not living in wealth. Mm. Mm. What makes life worth living mm. is not living, living in, in wealth. wealth. Money, yeah. mm. But the impact you and I can create right. mm. to the very people around mm. us. Mm. God did the same thing. Mm. We are celebrating. We are living in a, 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 in a season where uh, all you see is uh, gift, um, light, and tree. Mm. Why? Mm. Because God gave us a gift. That's why you see people going around giving gifts to people. Right. We are seeing the light because Jesus said, I am the light mm-hmm. of this world. Mm-hmm. We are seeing the truth because I, he said, I am the tree of life. Mm. So to me, um, I believe this is a gift to everybody. Mm. You don't need to bring any money. It's mm. not a luncheon. Mm. On that day, it will be all over the social media. The right. only thing I am asking from you mm. is to share mm. because transformation mm. comes through information. information. This song is loaded with info mm. that has the potency mm. to change your to life. Change so don't keep it. Mm. Send it to your group. 
send it to your church pages, mm -hmm. friends, school, mm -hmm. whatever it is. Mm -hmm. And I will be so grateful if I see you doing this. Amen. Amen. <laughs> so the release is December 31st. 31st. 2017, before you cross over. Yes. Immediately we cross over. <laughs> and it's for free. <laughs> it's for free. You get in two packages. Yes. A song a and video. a music video. All that the minister is asking of you is to share. Check. Share with somebody. Because there is information mm. in that video. There is information to bring in that transformation. that will be able to bring transformation. Mm. Minister, are we as should when should we expect an album? I know there is a lot that you have in you. I got it. You are someone that believes in depositing everything that is in you to release before you leave here on earth. I know my God is able. I know my God is able to see me true. Um it is not so difficult for God. There are so many things that we've put in package. I went to Africa um, last year and I was able to come across some ministers like earlier before we were talking about ministers that operate under the power of uh, the devil. Right. Uh, they call themselves ministers but they are not. Right. Uh, they are they, 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 they surely ghost people mm -hmm. and other ministers. A man of God blessed me so much. Before I stepped in his studio, the first thing he did was let's pray. I said, oh my God, we prayed and we started. Mm. Even in the studio, mm. a song came out that was not in the pipeline. Mm. And this minister said, man, mm. I love this song. Mm. Before I came to Ghana, he had already finished the song. Wow. Just as I sang it, wow. that is how he made it. Wow. So there are so many things in the package, but um, I believe, mm. I believe mm. that the time has come mm. for God to give us that freedom give us that liberty to put all the pieces together mm. so that we can be a blessing to the body of Christ. Thank you very much. Once again, I'd like you to share this with someone on Facebook. Invite somebody on WhatsApp to watch um, what is happening here in the studio. Uh, we have Minister Andrew Buesiak when we are talking about his release of his new album coming up here uh, in December 31st, 2017. It's mm. going to be a time of transformation Hallelujah. before you cross over to 2018 mm. i'd like you to arm yourself with Hallelujah. this arsenal arm yourself with this power arm yourself with this weapon mm. because it's a weapon that is going to encourage mm. you my lifestyle my lifestyle it's not about his lifestyle your lifestyle your lifestyle it's about my lifestyle. lifestyle and <laughs> their lifestyle and i believe that god is going to bring hope yes to the god hopeless god is going to bring hope to the hopeless mm. god is going to bring transformation mm. to somebody's mm. life uh, somebody's mm. uh, destiny be, will be redefined yes lord. in the lord hallelujah yes lord. hallelujah invite somebody to join us mm. today and join this morning here at the studio we are so much excited Hallelujah. and we are enjoying yes. the ministry of this great man mm, of god. it's a pleasure great man of god mm. i have this phone lines open if you are here in the, in um in the united states you want to call you want to call from overseas the phone number is uh six area code 614-392-4986 614-392-4986 the minister is here to answer some questions we will have put you live. Uh, we'll take some of your calls, and if you have any questions, you can answer here at the studio. Um, we talked about the single that is coming out on the yes. first. The the do you think the industry has become commercial? People are actually commercializing the anointing. I know people that are in the in ministry that have great calls. They have really started well. But now you can't even sit under them for even 10 minutes without them asking for money. Hmm. They wouldn't even lift up a stone for you without asking to be paid. Hmm. I know that people have to be rewarded for that. That's right. But some people are overly money they are abusing about, it. about money. Do you think the industry is being people or even the ministry in general has been has been commercialized? Yeah, this is the this this is this is a very a very um, deep question. Yeah. Um, it's really it's really going on. Um, some ministers are doing what God wants them to do, mm. and other ministers, um, all that they need, all that they care for is money. Right. Um, but like I said, mm. what makes life worth living? Now, mm -hmm. you see ministers flying their own jets, mm -hmm. living in mansions. Mm -hmm. uh, 
like wearing mm. alligator shoes right. and big chains right. and big pocket and everything. Mm. Yeah, it's good. It's good. When God blesses you, it's good. But to me, life is not all about money. Mm. And that's why I said, what makes life worth living is not living in wealth, mm -hmm. but the influence we can impart. So many people have run away from the churches mm -hmm. because they think mm -hmm. they've given so much. Mm -hmm. But when it was time mm -hmm. for they, them to also receive, they were rejected. Mm -hmm. So in their frustration, they took to the only way of life mm -hmm. open to them, quitting. Mm -hmm. That is the only way. Mm -hmm. I want to encourage the body of Christ, mm -hmm. musicians, mm -hmm. You know, sometimes a musician mm. will go will be invited to a church and then the church will offer some money and they don't want to take it. Mm. It's becoming like money. Right. I'm not saying you are not supposed to get something for what you are doing, mm. but money is not everything. Mm. You know, many right. sure. It is God that blesses. Mm. See, it is God that blesses. I have this friend of mine, a professor and cancer chair, they call him in Bible. Mm. He said something the other day, I was so blessed. He said, Minister, Sometimes I will go to a church mm -hmm. a minister I will sing until I lose my voice mm -hmm. and I see people bringing money people bringing money and when everything is over the head pastor mm -hmm. will be looking at me at me as if he doesn't even know who I am mm -hmm. so I'll be sitting there until I have to, until he decides to leave mm -hmm. but he says something to me he says sometimes when I'm driving home mm -hmm. Maybe it took like three hours for him to get to the program. No gas, nothing. But he said to me, he said, God is faithful. Sometimes he will get a phone call from somebody he doesn't know. He said, Minister, I met you at this program. And you blessed my life so much. And sometimes he says, according to him, the money the person will give to him, he will take the money and start crying. He doesn't even know the person. What am I saying? It is God that blesses. Right. Mm. I believe in mm. people giving out of their will. Now, somebody tricking you or mm. pushing you to do something mm. that you are not mm. willing to do. It, 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 there is no blessing in that. Wow. Wow. Bible said, God loves mm. a cheerful people. Right. Right. And I, I like that aspect of it. There, there are people that, that is the only means of life they go. You know, there are people that genuinely, this is the only thing they do. That is the only thing that put food at the table for the uh, children. That put the table food for their wives. It's the only thing that they use to, to support their kids. Mm. And these people really deserve to be supported. That's right. Supported. As you said, they are, they are people that have great giftings. They yes. came into the way in the church. They served the church faithfully and they were not getting any support. And for some reason, they, they took that gift and they, they are in the world now singing mm. hip life music, singing all kinds of Bless music. You because, for bringing they, this up. because they believe those those places will, will provide them a means of livelihood. Mm. You know, and and I believe the body of Christ, we it's hard time we support our own more than anything. Mm. It's so sad when I when I see people in the in, in our churches that can hardly people endowed hardly, 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 with yeah, quality potentials, potentials but and their life is going wayward. wayward you know and the, there's a time and a season in everybody's life Jesus they said he said this is the day there's a night coming mm. where man mm. cannot work cannot work mm. cannot work there's a time coming that mm. you may not have this strength That's anymore right. there's no. a time coming that you may not have this energy mm. to do the things that mm. you there's a time coming that that person may not have that strength to do whatever they are mm. doing you know and so if it is day let's give these people the opportunity let's support them mm. to work while it's day mm. and not let us wait until they are dead mm. let us wait until they are lame and they cannot lift a hand mm. then we go there and, and hand them a handout that is not how life is supposed to be I believe the church should be able to support our own and build That's our people our own. and encourage them. Yes. Lord. Encourage them yes, to Lord. move forward. Yes, Lord. It's a very, 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 very sensitive issue, but I believe that you say it all. Mm. There are so many people gifted. Mm. Sometimes, um, have you sat down to analyze this? That sometimes a minister will come out from a different place mm -hmm. and, and, and the people in the church are even powerful than them. Right. Mm -hmm. Yes. 
Yes. You see, yes. they will sing the same song that yes. somebody in the church has sung before. Sung before right. mm. But you see how we respect these people. Mm. Mm. Right. We place them on a high puppet, mm. an exalted and elevated stage, mm. towering mm -hmm. and shimmering in the sunshine of praise. Wow. Whilst our own, we leave them. We leave them yeah. And sometimes people cannot speak, but out of frustration, mm. they turn to the only way of life mm. leading to them. Mm. They lay back. Mm. It is time to support our own. Amen. 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 Again, once again, you're watching Eternal World with your brother Ernest Okuni. I have here Minister Donald Entry Wesiakon. And we've been talking about my lifestyle. My lifestyle. And it's a single uh, um, single music that is gonna release mm. in December 31st, 2017. Four small. And the purpose of this is to be a blessing unto somebody. Mm. It is going to be a music, uh, a song, and also a music video. Yes. You have two packages in one. Mm. The beautiful thing about it is it's for free. For free. <laughs> what he desires from you is to share with share, somebody. Share, share, share. Be a blessing share. unto somebody. I'm here in the studio and he's talking about some of the content of this, of this, um, of this song. And it's so powerful. Yes. A life of hope. And hope mm, for, for life. For life. Mm. Thank God so much for joining us with Eternal Word. I have my brother again. I have my brother um, um, Donald Entribuesiako, Minister Donald Entribuesiako mm. here. Um, I would like to give you the opportunity for five minutes, two minutes, talk to our audience. What do you see happening in 2018 in their lives? And why did you bless them? If you are watching me and all hope seems to have been lost, I have come to tell somebody to press hard when hard pressed. Mm. As a result of the sad tragedy caused by this weather life, some of the storms and the darkness we go through, most people don't want to do anything. It is easy for you to quit, especially a time of your life when you've given all your best and people don't even appreciate you. You may have done your best, but don't rest in doing the rest. Because God is writing a biography. He's writing a story about you. And you don't want to cause that story to be a mess. I've come to tell somebody that whatever giftings God has put in you, whatever vision God has put in you, please let it be a help to the body of Christ. I decided this year to let something out so that you can be blessed. It is my prayer that 2017, the Lord God Almighty will lift up his hands of efficacy and change your lifestyle. It's going to be a year that things will be broken down. It's going to be a year that things, God Almighty, will break down stuff. And at the same time, the, the same God Almighty is going to build stuff. Poverty, when poverty is broken, riches or properties are built. When rejection is broken, acceptance will be built. When loneliness is broken, relationship will be built. It is my prayer that the coming year, the Lord God Almighty will lift you to a higher profile, a stage lifted up, towering and shimmering in the sunshine of praise. Mm. I believe in a change. Mm. A change is coming. Mm. And the change is coming from the Most High God. Wake up and smell the coffee for your day has come. Mm. This is your day. This is your year of upliftment. May the same spirit that caused Elijah to outrun Ahab who was sitting on a horse come over you. I pray for spirit of acceleration that the Lord God Almighty will cause you to be able to move fast. In Deuteronomy 1 verse 6, he said, For these people have dwelt around this mountain for far too long. He said, Ask them to wake up, stand up, and go forward. You may be spinning around life challenges. You may be spinning around so many things. Sometimes, maybe in your life, you don't even know where you are, where you are heading to. I'm here to prophesy into your life that in the coming year, God is going to give you a sense and a focus. God bless you. God bless eternal life. And everybody watching us, stay blessed. Thank you very much, Minister, and I thank God. He said a hope for living.
and a life, life of, hope. of hope. 2018. Watch out to December 31st, December 31st for the release of that single. Once again, you've been, it's been a great uh, pleasure for me to come into your household on TV Africa Network, on Periscope, also on Facebook uh, Live. And I thank you very much for being a faithful uh, partner in this ministry. God richly bless you until we come your way again this Saturday. It's your brother Ernest Oponi and uh, our minister, Andrew uh, Boesiako. We say shalom. God bless Please you. Be with you. God richly bless every watching. single one of you.